Attributes poor attendance and increased school dropout to pair to pair violence in schools environment. Food experts insist food security goes beyond availability and affordability. Plus, People's Democratic Party National Working Committee sets up equity governorship primary appeal panel. Good evening. And welcome to the news at 7 a.m. at Ibombasi. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation has requested the sum of 3 trillion naira as fuel subsidy for 2022. Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Saina Ahmed, disclosed this in Abuja. She noted that, by implication, the federal government will have to make an incremental provision of 2.557 trillion naira, which currently averages about 270 billion naira per month. The finance minister further disclosed that only 443 billion naira is presently available in the 2022 budget meant to accommodate subsidy from January to June. The request she reviewed was considered by the Council, which directed the Ministry to approach the National Assembly for amendments to fiscal framework as well as budget. A sensitization and awareness campaign for the liquefied petroleum gas adoption and expansion project has been held in Yenegua. The campaign is part of efforts to engage Bayelsa State towards sustainable social economic growth. Fred Owaife reports. Bayelsa is among the 12 states earmarked for the National Expansion and Implementation Plan on liquefied petroleum gas by the federal government, considering its large deposit of gas. The enormous benefit of LPG cuts across different sectors of the economy. These include power, transportation, agriculture, manufacturing and household consumption. When implemented, over 5 million cylinders are expected to be injected by the federal government into the 12 approved states. Bayelsa State Governor Senator Doye Diri, represented by his deputy Senator Lawrence Erujakbo, stressed that the LPG expansion project will provide over 5,000 jobs in the sector contributing to the economy and bringing inclusive participation among indigents. Today, LPG is the optimal and cleanest option among the fossil fuels. In the coming years, an assortment of invented innovations will render the use of LPG smarter and more efficient as gas technology advances because more widely evolved. Critical stakeholders in the gas sector highlighted the dangers associated with firewood cooking and need for residents to keep abreast of maintenance of their LPG cylinders due to associated risk. The fact that Bios has imposed significant reserves of gas is a huge advantage. This land, according to the federal government, is projected to provide opportunities for businesses, creation of jobs, and the harmonization of the environment by 20%. With over 6 million cars in the world now running on LPG, stakeholders affirm that maximum participation in the expansion and implementation plan of the federal government will be cost effective. Fred Wafier, NTA News. Poor attendance and increased school dropout have been associated with peer to peer violence in and around schools' environment. 
Atebola Brooklyn Sunday reports that key players in the fight against human trafficking and violence against women are advocating a concerted effort to end the menace. Of bullying, we can share prefects to enlighten and tell others about the effect of bullying because on the junior student it causes low self esteem and sometimes they are being bullied not to report to anybody. Investigations show that about half of students between age 13 and 15 are experiencing peer to peer violence in form of bullying. The National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, is therefore advocating an end to the culture of silence in the society to expose perpetrators. The reason why you are in school is not to exercise control or power over younger students or students you feel you are, you are better than. Because bullying in itself has very long emotional and mental you know, effects. For the foundation Exitio, every child has the right to go to school, acquire requisite knowledge without fear of harassment or abuse. Are our schools centers where people set up so that they can make out of this world money or are they vehicles to produce the future of our nation? We believe that the government should place the Child Rights Act in the exclusive legislative list. The federal government needs to declare a state of emergency as, if, as it affects violence against children, especially in schools. The group believes that when children grow up around violence, they have a greater chance of replicating same in their relationship with others. Adebola, Brooklyn, NTA News. 87 new cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed in the country as of 27th January 2022. According to statistics by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Lagos topped the chart with 25 cases, followed by Rivers with 16 cases, Federal Capital Territory 15, Delta 9, Edo 7, Gombe 5, Nasarawa 4, while Kanu, Oyo, and Borono State recorded one case each. This brings the total number of 252,840 confirmed cases, while 228,404 persons were treated and discharged, while 3,134 persons could not survive the virus. The federal government's plan for food security through agricultural diversification is realizable if the country leverages on digital technology to improve production, processing, storage, and package of agricultural produce. This formed part of a research from the University of Oyo, where food experts insist that food security should go beyond availability and affordability. Clement Barigui reports. Research shows that in Nigeria, about 30 million hectares of farmland have remained undercultivated every season, and this falls short of the estimated 78.5 million hectares of land that is required for farming to feed Nigeria's growing population. This may seem scary, but it is possible to maximize the available farmland to meet government's target on food security. Mechanization and agricultural engineering, according to SPAT, are sure ways for Nigerians to eat what is good. We should begin to see how do we mechanize. Beyond mechanization, how do we modernize? Most of our small-scale farmers, they are two, three hectares of land. The simple things they do, it can be modernized. And this is by leveraging on technologies, innovations, to help those farmers to do better. No storage facility, no processing facilities, nothing is available. But yet, we are crying for... Uh, food security, the technology to process it. And that is the perspective he has brought in today. That a lot of wastages in the country, so much harvest and so much post harvest lost. Now, once you eat what is good, because what, is, what you eat is who you are.
Eating what is good, the agricultural and food engineer's perspective, was the focus of the 87th inaugural lecture of the University of Uyo, where experts submitted that Nigeria is on the right track by considering agriculture as key to economic diversification. In Uyo, Clement Barikui, NTA News. You are watching news reaching from the studios of NTA Kalaba. You can watch this newscast on our YouTube channel at YouTube slash NTA Kalaba. Stay with us. For still being there. Everyone at some point needs privacy in their lives, but to have it, one must be mindful of invaders who might be intentionally or unintentionally lurking. ICT correspondent Joseph Johnson reports that this practice applies to data privacy protection, which is being advocated for by the National Information Technology Development Agency as the celebrate Global Data Privacy Day. It's day five of the National Data Privacy Week, a commemoration that has been running on the theme Data Economics in a Digital Economy, charting Nigeria's data strategy. The journey of data protection in Nigeria started in January 2019 with the Nigeria Data Protection Regulation, NDPR, which is the current national law on data protection in the country. The Minister of Communications and Digital Economy Professor so Isa Ali Pantami, who was formerly the DG of the National Information Technology so Development so Agency, initiated so the journey with I the draft so of the policy. For him, the security of information must be sustained at all times to foster an internet economy. The only comprehensive regulation we have in Nigeria so far is Nigeria Data Protection Regulation. It is because of this, I think the journey so far is highly commendable. And the federal government of Nigeria, through the National Identity Management Commissions, is working day in, day out to integrate this existing legislation into full law. Data drives digital economy, and digital economy drives the growth of traditional economy. We can harness the potentials of this technology and avoid its perils, because we all know that technology can be used as a tool or as a weapon. The event also featured presentation of the NDPR performance report and prizes to some students who aced the quiz and debate competitions. Celebrated globally, the World Data Privacy Day is aimed at sensitizing individuals and raising awareness around privacy practices and principles. Joseph Johnson, NTA News. And now to politics. The National Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has constituted the Governorship Appeal Panel to consider appeals arising from the conduct of the Governorship Primary Election for the upcoming 2022 Governorship Election in Ekiti State. The party's National Organizing Secretary, Umar Baturi, in a statement says the 25-member appeal panel has the PDP National Chairman, Iyocha Ayu, as Chairman. The party's National Secretary, Samuel Anyawu, serves as Secretary of the Appeal Panel. Meanwhile, the Niger State High Court has fixed the 10th of February this year to determine the fate of October 16, 2021 Niger State APC Congress and the qualification of the executives that emerged after the Congress. Mokta Abubakar Wawo reports that the 15 plaintiffs and purported aspirants 
during the state congress filed the suit at the Niger State High Court to in Mina. During the hearing of the plaintiff's originating summon, the alleged violation of the APC guidelines in the conduct of the October 16, 2021 State Congress and also questioned the qualifications of those that emerged state executives as consensus candidates. Counsel to the plaintiffs while adopting his written submissions as argument urged the court to dismiss the preliminary objections of the respondent's counsel, challenging the jurisdiction of the court to hear the matter which is a party affairs, and asked the court to grant all the reliefs and prayers sought in the originating summon. In this case, what is an issue is the legality or otherwise of the purported uh, Congress conducted by APC Niger State. The defense counsel, however, maintained that there is no justifiable case to be determined by the court as the case is a purely internal affairs of the party. They also argued that the authorities cited by the counsel to the plaintiffs are not applicable in the suit and submitted that it is a tried law that Article 21 of the APC guidelines must be respected by party members. They therefore urged the court to dismiss the plaintiff's suit for lacking merit. Is valid or not valid? That is for the court to determine. Justice Halima Abdul Malik of the Niger State High Court too fixed the 10th of February this year for composite rulings. Emena Mukhtar O NTA News. President Muhammadu Buhari extends heartfelt condolences to the victims of the fire incident at the main market and relief market in Onicha and Nambara states respectively, which reportedly destroyed several goods. In a statement by the Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Femi Adeshina, the President directs federal government agencies working with the state government to give the necessary succor while also urging public spirited individuals and corporate organizations to assist those whose means of livelihood have been affected by the unfortunate incident. And as a size of a package, but let's take a quick look at the stories that made the headlines before we go. Key players in the fight against human trafficking and violence against women have advocated concerted efforts to end the menace. Food experts have insisted that food security should go beyond availability and affordability. We also told you that the People's Democratic Party, PDP, National Working Committee has constituted the governorship appeal panel for the upcoming 2022 election in Ikiti State. Thank you so much for staying with us to have a pleasant evening.